hey guys welcome to a second video where i'll be showing you how you can integrate a hugging face inference api inside your website right so the first thing we'll do is make sure that you are logged in i'm already logged in that's my username so once you're logged in click on models and then scroll down and then look for natural language processing and click on summarization once you have that, uh, click on the first one. At the moment, it's Facebook bot, uh, large CNN, and then look for deploy, and then click on inference API. Uh, once you have that, just select an API token. If you don't have an API token, just click on new access token. And then once you've selected your API token, click on show API token. And then once you have that, you'll be able to see your API token, click on copy, and then open up Visual Studio Code. So once you have Visual Studio Code open, make sure you've opened up the folder that contains all of your project files and folders. Um, the next thing you want to do is create uh, three different files. The first one will be index.html. The second one will be inside a folder called scripts and then we'll call this file main.js and then inside our parent folder our project folder we'll create another folder called um, style and then inside style we'll create a file called uh, style or styles.css and there you go so the next thing is we want some html so this is the structure of our website so the first thing i will do is type in html and then i'll click on html5 and then inside that i will give my uh, website a, a title let's just call it uh, hugging face and then we'll call this inference uh, inference api there we go and then inside our body we will have uh, a set of different elements so this is what the set of elements consists of a text area a user input a button and a p tag right so the text area is the user input where the user will input the the text uh, when they click on the button uh, we'll speak to the inference api and then we'll get a response and then we'll display that response in the p tag so let's start with the text area um okay so i have a copilot installed uh, which usually helps me with these sort of things uh, so let me, there we go so okay cool so as you can see it uh, automatically added the code that we need uh, if you're interested uh, in installing this it's called tab 9 so the way that you install it is inside visual studio code you go to extensions click on extensions and uh, tab 9 so you just search tab 9 it will take you to the extension uh, store or market and then you can install it from there another great tool is Codium right so these are free so it's not like I'm sponsored or anything they're very very good tools uh, so let's just recap so we need a text area button a p tag so as you can see we have a title now uh, and then we have our text area, we have our button, and then we have our output, right? So our button, um, there's just one problem. Uh, it has an ID, which is fine. But uh, the way that it will, it will work with an ID is that I will have to attach an event listener um, in my JavaScript. So which means I will have to go inside this JavaScript file and type in uh, add event listener on the on click event of this button which is a long way to go about it. So instead we can just say on click uh, and then we give it the function name. So it will call this function when we click the button, right? So let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to declare the function called call API. So to do so, I'll go to my main.js file and then I'll create an arrow function, right? So this is how you create an arrow function there we go so it'll call this function when we click on the other button right so inside our function we'll just have a simple console log console dot log and then we will paste in the name of the function and then we'll say hello world just to make sure 
uh, that the message is from this function right so we'll save our file so before I go any further I'll actually show you how it works inside your browser so inside your browser make sure you have index.html file open um, if you don't know how to get this path go back to Visual Studio Code right click on index.html and click on copy path uh, go back to your browser paste it in and it should reload and show you your web page so on my web page um, i have uh, a heading inference api i have a text input uh, so this is our text area input we have our core api button and we have the expected output so this looks different from what you have that's because i've made a few changes to the html um, page nothing too crazy it's the exact same components just with uh, a, a few brs and a few uh, placeholder ticks uh, just to show you exactly where each element is so once we got that done um, we can open up our browser so for this step depending on which browser you're using you just have to do a bit of research but basically i'm trying to open up the developers tools tab right so i'll click on the menu icon i'll go to more tools and i'll click on developers tools right so these are tools that help us debug websites as web developers so the first thing i want to do i want to do is um debug the javascript so remember we created a function this function over here called core api so this function is called when we click on this button right uh, so if i go back to my browser we'll see all the html elements so when i click on this button we're supposed to see a console log right so let me click on the button we do get a console log but it's not what we expected so we actually got an error where it says core api is not defined so it means that we are trying to call this function but this button does not know where exactly this function is like where to call it right so it means it's missing somewhere so we just need to reunite it with our code uh, so to do so we'll go back to our visual studio code inside our index.html file uh, I can see that we have our script uh, tag missing. So we'll just type in script and then I'll type in the type of script. Uh, it's a text JavaScript, JavaScript, right? Um, and then the source of this text is uh, scripts. There we go. So we close the tag. As you can see, we all, all we needed to do was just add this tag. When we go back to our browser and we click on refresh, uh, let me just expand that. As you can see, when I click the button, it console logs core API, hello world. So our JavaScript is working. Let's move on to the next step. So before we continue, I'll just copy this paragraph about uh, quantum computing. So I'll take this paragraph open up visual studio code and then in between our text area um, element i'll just paste in that paragraph so this will serve as our um, paragraph that will feed to our hugging face hugging face uh, inference api so um once we have that done we can move on to our javascript so in our javascript we want to actually start uh, getting this paragraph and sending it to the inference api so the first thing we want to do is first get the element that contains the paragraph right so we'll just call this paragraph uh, is equal to document dot get element by id and then we can just go back and find out the id of our text area copy that go back to our file and then we have our paragraph right so inside our paragraph we want the text right so to get the text inside the paragraph we will then say paragraph dot value right so this usually works so i will then console log this value just to show you that it actually exists right so we will console value the value of text i'll save that I'll go back to my browser, I'll refresh. When I click on core API, as you can see, I'm getting back our paragraph, right? So we'll go back to Visual Studio Code. 
now i can delete that i'm confident that i'm getting back the paragraph the next step will be to get our hugging face inference api code and uh, sending the text to the api and getting back a response to accomplish that we'll go back to our browser uh, we'll go to the hugging face website uh, make sure once you get there you go to the facebook large uh, to the facebook bot uh, large cnn click on deploy click inference api make sure you click on javascript uh, make sure you click on show api token click copy and then go back to visual studio code direct directly underneath uh, the last line of code paste uh, the code that we just copied and there we go so as you can see we take an input which is this large body of text we can just delete that and use our own variable instead so um, this will send a uh, the, the text to the inference API and then it will return a response which we will then stringify and console log right so let's see how that will look inside our browser so inside our browser we'll go back to our website we will just click on refresh uh, so this is our text I'll click on call API and as you can see we've got our return right so our return is an array with one object and that object has a key called summary text which is the value of uh, the summarization of this entire text right so now we want i want to show you how you will take this output and put it here for the user to see right uh, from there you can have like a copy button where they can copy the response and then paste it into i don't know the word document or whatever it is okay so moving on let's go back to our visual studio code okay so as you can see we are stringifying our response we don't have to do that so let's see what happens uh, when i remove that so i'll go back to my browser i'll refresh and then i'll click on call api uh, as you can see we're getting the actual json uh, uh, object and it's still an array with one object inside the object we have a key called summary text which is the value of uh, the output we got from the model right so let's take this output and uh, put it inside this output so back in visual studio code uh, as i said we have an array inside this array we have an object so we'll grab the first object and then uh, we'll try one of two things right so either we'll try this not too familiar uh, these things always slip my mind so we'll either try this or we'll try this right so i think this is the winner so let me just refresh click on core api there we go so the second option is the the winner so this one so uh, if you have this question mark it means that even if this does not exist it won't throw an error All right so that's just something new in javascript that i picked up uh, so we'll just take away all of this um i'm missing a okay so we'll just take all of this cool so now um we'll go back uh, right on top so now we want to grab our paragraph where we will have the output right so uh, let's just call this output and the name of this element uh, happens to be text output right so get uh, an element with the name text with the id sorry text output so we'll get the output element so with this output element we will then say output element dot uh, inner html must be equal to the response uh, inside the response we want to grab the first element and we want to grab the summary key uh, the summary text key right so if i save this go back to my browser uh, click on refresh let me just enlarge this and then when i click on core api I will get uh, the response inside my um, p tag element and that's how you do it so you can have a button here at the bottom where I'll, i can click on copy and uh, it will be 
copy directly onto my clipboard and you can use it for a variety of things so you can just become creative um, and see how you can implement this inside your own projects whether it's a website or a mobile phone and thank you guys for watching if you want the code to this example for your own projects just go onto my github profile and search for the repo code hiking face inference api with javascript and you can just fork it or clone it and you can do whatever you want so for the next video i'll be showing you how to implement the same hugging face inference api but using the curl command which means we'll be using the terminal or you can call it the command line interface so thank you guys for watching please like the video please subscribe catch you in the next one